Those are the presidential hopefuls. There's also the eight GOP hopefuls and former President Trump, uh, who weren't really the only ones in the spotlight last night. Did you see this moment? The South Dakota governor, Kristi Noem, also tried to grab a bit of the limelight, starring in an ad touting her state's economy and job, job availability. Watch. Let's look on the bright side. South Dakota stayed open for business during the pandemic. Now we've got more jobs than people. So I'm filling in until you get here. South Dakota is the freest state in America and the best state to live, work, and raise a family. We accept most. I watched that last night and I thought to myself, was that a VP audition in the middle of this debate? What's going on? You got Christy Nome starring in an ad there in the middle of the debate. Uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene showing up, watching Donald Trump on, on X, Twitter, whatever, and that picture goes viral. Uh, we talked to Carrie Lake the other day. She didn't really deny it. W you know, they're all trying to get in front of Donald Trump, are they not? They are. In fact, uh, not only was uh, Christy Noem uh, auditioning for the second spot on the Trump ticket, you know, the vice president, I think some of the other candidates on that stage, like uh, Ramaswamy, uh, he's clearly uh, he's sucking up to Trump. He's not going to win, but I think he'd like to be a vice presidential candidate. Some of the other folks who raised their hand, uh, I think they want to be part of Team Trump. Should he be the nominee? I, I can't understand why they're running. I mean, if you're not there to win, why are you there? But apparently they're there to be second place or just to be in his good graces. Let's be clear. Everyone on that stage, if given the chance to be VP, including Pence, would be <laughs> VP <laughs> again. You, th you, you think Pence would do it again? You think Pence would take it and DeSantis would take it? The fact know. that they both said know. that they would support Trump if he was the nominee wow. tells me that they would also be on the ticket with Trump if he was the nominee. Look, Trump needs to get... Um, a footing with women. That is his weakness. And so <laughs> that he is his needs weakness. to have a fe it's going to have to be a female vice presidential candidate. Like it has to so. be. Yeah, because he says so many offensive things about women that he needs someone who can defend him and explain away what it is that he says. Is it that or because, I mean, suburban women were a big problem? Yeah, a huge well, problem. Well, yeah, I mean, I think you look at even more than what Trump says or has said in the past about women, it's about the fact that we've seen now in multiple election cycles the issue of Roe v. Wade, the issue of women's rights is an incredibly motivating yeah. factor for the Democratic primary base, for independent voters. We've seen in some of the voter initiatives that have happened in red states how that is turned those states upside down in those specific elections. That's a problem that Republicans still have not figured out how to acknowledge. All the while, they use that debate time to say, we need a 15-week ban on abortion. That's not going to fly with the overall electorate, and so they need to have at least some female face of those policies to advocate for them, because if you just got two men doing that, it's not going to work. So if you think it has to be a woman, assuming Donald Trump's going to be the nominee, who? I mean, I could easily see the governor being one of those. It's got to be someone that people don't really dislike. I think Carrie Lake is really hard to get around. Um, there are probably a bunch of women who could be that, that play that role. But really, he just needs a woman. I haven't thought too much about it. Well, look, Republicans have two problems with the general electorate, as far as I'm concerned. As a, and this is you as a Republican. This is a Republican. I'm going to say as a Republican. Donald Trump and the abortion issue. And I'm not sure which, which is more challenging for Republicans. It could be the abortion issue. But Republicans are going to have to figure this out because Trump is turning off such a large swath of the electorate. And the abortion position of the GOP, I was the last guy in the U.S. House, last Republican in the U.S. House, uh, to vote to, to fund Planned Parenthood. And I voted against the 20-week abortion ban. I was alone. But I said, you, there's consequences to this. They're on the wrong side uh, of public opinion in a very big way. So suburban women, Independence, you know, Trump and abortion are turning them off. They have to figure out how to. Ma Haley tried to, she tried to straddle it and navigate it. Well, now and then now right. she's going right after after Donald Trump. Um, Marjorie Taylor Greene, quote: "My name is on a list of Trump vice president picks." That's a, a headline from from the other day. <laughs> the thirst we, is we real. had Carrie Lake on this show. She didn't deny it. I mean, Christy Noem putting that ad in the middle of, <laughs> of, of the presidential debate. I mean, she offered to put Donald Trump on Mount Rushmore, so this shouldn't surprise anyone. The problem yeah. is going to be what female candidate really wants to attach themselves to the Trump train, knowing that he's going to well, put them front and center. But a, a real the vice president, Lee Stefanik. You know? yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's got to be somebody who's reputable. Her, yeah, yep, yeah. Right. who wants to ruin their reputation. That right. Well, well I, I don't know if it. I mean, you you say ruin your reputation, but for them, that. I mean, Mike Pence's reputation is it ruined? I, I don't yeah. know. I think I'll, they only tried to hang him. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, I mean, <laughs> broadly speaking, general, when you look at Mike Pence now, there were Republicans coming to his side last night on the debate stage and saying he did the right thing. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, 
unbiased coverage.